everybody, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make six different kinds of buttercream flowers. These are a lot easier than you'd expect and you can use these for literally any dessert. So let's get started. So I'm using cupcakes as the base for these just because I think it's cute. But you could also simply use a flower nail, I think that's what it's called, the photo will be here. Um, or you could do these directly onto a cake or anything that you'd like. So first I'm going to show you how to make the buttercream. So you want to beat some butter with an electric mixer until it's pale and fluffy. Add some vanilla extract and beat until combined. Then add the confectioner's sugar one cup at a time, then beat for three to five minutes or until it's fluffy. So first, to make some hydrangea cupcakes, you want to prep some blue and some white buttercream and fit a piping bag with the number 2D piping tip and spread some blue buttercream along the inside walls of the bag, leaving the center empty. Then fill the center with some white buttercream. Then pipe vertically onto the cupcake, creating little drops of buttercream flowers. And just continue until the entire cake is covered. So you can also use pink or purple buttercream instead of blue or a mixture of all of them because hydrangeas come in a bunch of different colors. So to make some daisies, you want to prep some white and yellow buttercream and place the white buttercream into a piping bag fitted with the number 103 piping tip and the yellow buttercream into a piping bag fitted with the number 5 piping tip. Position the wide end of the piping tip with the white buttercream where the center of your daisy will be and pipe stripes of petals continuing until you create a full set of petals. Then squeeze some yellow buttercream into the center. So you can pipe one large daisy onto the center of the cupcake or multiple smaller daisies to completely cover your cupcake in daisies. To create a dahlia, you want to prep some purple buttercream or any color that you like and place it into a piping bag fitted with a number 81 piping tip. Create a mound of buttercream onto the center of the cupcake and then point the piping bag vertically on top of the cupcake and pipe three petals around the mound. Continue with more layers of petals, keeping them slightly longer than the previous row and gradually fanning them out in the rows near the edges of the cupcake. To create a peony, which is one of my favorites, you want to prep some coral and some yellow buttercream. Place the yellow buttercream into a piping bag, fit it with the number 133 piping tip. Then place the coral buttercream into a piping bag, fit it with the number 123 piping tip. Pipe a dollop of yellow buttercream onto the center of the cupcake, and this is just to create some height. And then use more yellow buttercream to create the stamens, piping vertically on top of that little dollop. Then use the coral buttercream to pipe three petals around the stamens, and continue piping more and more layers of petals, starting each petal from the middle of each petal in the previous row. To create a sunflower, you'll need to prep some golden yellow, some green, and some brown buttercream. Place the brown buttercream in a piping bag fitted with a piping tip with a very large round opening. The yellow buttercream into a piping bag fitted with a number 70 piping tip and the green buttercream into a piping bag fitted with a number 68 piping tip. Pipe a large circle of brown buttercream onto the center of the cupcake, and if you like, you can sprinkle some chocolate sprinkles on top or some mini chocolate chips to create some texture. Then pipe several leaves with the green buttercream around the outside edges of the cupcake. Pipe a ring of petals with the yellow buttercream, just slightly closer to the center than the green leaves. And continue piping more rings, working closer and closer to the center until you reach the brown middle. And lastly, to create some cherry blossom flavors, you want to prep some pale pink, some deep pink, and some white buttercream. And for these, you can use a number 101, 102, or 103 piping tips. Just depends on the size of the flower that you would like. Then spread some of the pink buttercream onto the side of the piping bag where the wide end of the piping tip is located and then fill the rest of the piping bag up with some white buttercream. Hold the piping bag so that the pink edge is closest to the cupcake, then pipe a flower with five petals. So as you can see, I rotated both the cupcake and my hand as I was piping. It takes a little bit of trial and error, but once you get the hang of it, these can be made super, super quickly. And you are done! So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you like this recipe. If there are any other flowers that you would like to see a tutorial for, definitely comment down below. I also made a succulent terrarium um, a couple months ago. So if you were looking for more 
succulent type buttercream creations, definitely click this video here and that will take you to the tutorial. And thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're hoping to make these things for your mom for Mother's Day this year, I'm actually going to be having a theme week next week starting from Monday to Friday. So every day I'm going to be uploading Mother's Day themed recipe. And there are definitely some more floral recipes there. So make sure to stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I will see you guys on Monday for an only recipe. Bye!